looked across New York City and we were trying to figure out where can we ramp up and open up more food pantries. And we just opened up our 40th food pantry. It's a really unique location. It's an HES, which is a traditionally Jewish community center. The people who were there at the HES, they were not only from the Jewish community. They were people from across the spectrum of cultures that we, we have here in the district. They all came up because they, were, they understood that they were coming to a pantry that's inclusive. One thing that makes us unique here at Met Council is that because we have the largest free kosher distribution program in the world is that when a crisis hits, we can act immediately in a way that nobody else can act. We had an incredible tragedy in Jersey City. Everyone knows about the terror attack, how two Jews were murdered in a supermarket. What people didn't realize was that that was the only kosher supermarket in town and there were over 100 families who were relying on it. I got a call from the mayor of Jersey City saying, hey, can you help? Shabbat is coming up. These people won't have food for Shabbat because their supermarket was decimated. We did something that no other organization can do. In less than 24 hours, we mobilized, we brought in a truck, we packaged and put together packages of over 10,000 pounds of food that we delivered directly to the mayor's office in Jersey City, and we then proceeded to deliver that food to over 100 families. It's great to have the Met Council helping out. This will support all 100 families, get them through Shabbos and then beyond that. So we're just thankful. It's tough times and we need the help from everywhere we can get. So thank you to the Met Council. If you think it's difficult convincing people that there are poor Jews in New York, try convincing people there are poor Jews in Manhattan. People don't realize there are literally thousands of poor Jews who are living in Manhattan, hundreds, quite frankly, who live in our own Met Council housing across the Upper East Side of Manhattan. So we realize that it's fantastic to have our warehouse in Brooklyn, but we need a hub in the heart of Manhattan, and that's why we opened up the hub at 171 Lex, which is a place where we can bring people from throughout the community who can come in and who can help distribute food to the neediest New Yorkers who live right in the heart of Manhattan. Today we're at 171 Lexington, a Met Council owned and operated affordable housing development. It's also where we have our newest addition of our volunteer and fulfillment center. Today, we welcomed students from Heschel to come to a packing project where they did a little bit of learning, had some fun, and most importantly, did tremendous good. Not just for people who will benefit from our emergency food programs, but as importantly, for our residents of this very building. Passover is coming up in just a few weeks. I want you to think about the idea that there are people who are going to sit down and they will not have grape juice on their table to celebrate Passover. That's why right behind us, you'll see we have pallets and pallets of grape juice. For tens of thousands of Jews in our community, the question is, what will we eat for Passover? Your contribution, your support means that people will have the grape juice and the matzah and the matzah ball soup and the chicken and the fish to have a real dignified Passover meal. As a community, we need to have a place for when people lose their jobs or lose their homes or lose their spouses that they can come to and they know they can get help. That's what Met Council is about. Met Council is that safety net that provides the help for the unthinkable tragedies or challenges or difficulties that people go through in their lives. We could not do that without your support.